Hi, I'm Mark Hall from Casting Crowns, and I am also youth pastor here at Eagles Landing First Baptist Church. I've been on staff here for 10 years, and the songs that we sing come from the lessons that we teach and the things that we're pouring into families here every week. Uh, I love walking through the stories of Jesus, uh, those one-on-one moments through the New Testament. You know, Jesus seemed to do more ministry on the way to do what we think is ministry than most of us will ever do. Uh, On the way to the big things, it was all about people. And one of the stories that's always stuck out to me is the woman at the well. This lady, the, the more we read and the more we learn about her, she was known for her mistakes. And the whole reason she was even at the well on the day that she was there and the time that she was there was to stay away from the rest of the town because everybody knew her. And I thought, man, that's me. You know, I, I make mistakes. and I, I don't ever seem to be able to outlive past failure, right? So I identify with her right off. Jesus comes to her and says, give me a drink. And, and, and she's got to be thinking, who is this guy? You know, you're a Jew. I'm a Gentile. That's the Crips and the Bloods here. You know, why are you talking to me? And, and he says, if you knew who was talking to you, you would ask me and I would give you living water and you'd never thirst again. And immediately her mind starts reeling. She starts thinking, what is this water? Now, he's talking about Jesus water. She's talking about me water, right? And she's thinking, if, he, if I can get some of this Jesus water, I won't have to keep coming back to this well. So give me some of this stuff. And he sees she's not getting it. And he goes deeper. Because I can give you this well, and wells of living water will flow from you. You will never thirst again. And she starts understanding that there might be something different about what he's talking about. He says, show me this so I'll never thirst again. But at the same time, the more she starts getting it, she's just like me. She still doesn't get it. You see, she thought she was standing by a well and talking to a man. She was standing by a hole in the ground. And she was talking to the well. And that realization in a quiet time in the morning for me made me realize there are places in my life that I am just dragging my well into church every Sunday. I'm dragging my well into my quiet time and into my worship. And I listen to what God says and and I want to hear it. But at the same time, I've sort of already, already got the idea of what I need. So Jesus, if you can just bless me and sprinkle something onto my water and make my water a little better, then I'll be okay. But these things that we think are going to complete us, these things, these people, these relationships, these these talents, these resources that we think are going to get us through life and are going to do it for us, are going to leave us dry and are leaving us dry. What we're going to talk about in this book is the one truth that Jesus is the well. Jesus is the well that I have to draw from. He's the only way my marriage is going to work. He's the only way my career is going to work. He's the only way my family is going to work and my friendships are going to work because I can't draw from people. I can't draw from from, from talents. I can't draw from all these other things. They're always going to leave me lacking. I've got to draw from Jesus because Jesus is the well.